Any suggestions? So, there was one thing I was thinking of making before the stream, and I won't. And if anybody has any suggestions, throw them out. I will work on that as opposed to thing that I was thinking of in advance. It looks like we don't have anybody else in the stream, so I'm going to go ahead and try to make the thing that I came up with uh, before the stream, which is, I think it's just Heart of Aquamarine watching right now, so, um, and I believe that they're off eating pasta, which is a generally good idea, I approve. So I'm going to try to make, what I want to make is a two-part epoxy. And I'm not sure what I'll call it in-game, but I want to make a two-part epoxy. So, as far as I can tell, the way it works is you have some kind of chain. Ah, waiting for the water to boil. Are you good with uh, me making a two-part epoxy, or do you want to suggest something? Um... Okay. All right. That's fine. I'll make the two-part epoxy. Um, okay. I guess I actually have one example of something which is supposed to stick to a surface, and that's the Curious Lipstick. So, ignoring the part that's pure poison, the Curious Lipstick is shaped... like this. So, okay. So, for two-part epoxy, I, I think I want it to be a chain. Um, maybe I'll have some kind of chain with these earth cup shapes connected to either side. So I'm imagining something like, uh, I don't know, like some, right, I have to have an atom in the center of the board. cup, earth cup shapes, a uh, slight, you know, indentation cup, uh, sorry, that, I can see why you were confused by that, um, um, okay, So I want something which is like a long chain kind of thing. And so like, like I was looking up um, two part epoxies before the stream. And you have some polymer which attaches things together, and then you have a hardener which 
links together the polymers into an interconnected network that then becomes very tough. Um, tough to break. So... How would these, like if you have a cup, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like you might come in, ting, ting. Maybe I'll go with sort of a, that kind of shape. Let me look at these side by side. Like, I'm, I'm looking for something which sort of grabs onto one, slips out, and then sneaks in to connect these two things together. And then like, the combination of this connecting the strands and the strands themselves is the polymer. And obviously, like, I think I want to just make it sort of horizontal because that seems more appropriate. But, like, it would connect in sideways between branches. Maybe something like this so that, like, you end up with these uh, earth atoms attaching things to together but the 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 structure of it is made with these fire atoms and that might make sense with the seal solvent because the seal solvent uses water in it so fire versus water i could i could see that maybe I think I sort of talked myself into maybe doing this. Okay. Hardening is easy. Why not? Um, so in total, I need three fire, eight salt, and six earth. I think I'm going to give them bistabilized salt because all the salt comes in bistabilized form anyway. So, like, this is actually super convenient for this uh, build. And then one fire and two earth, I think, is what I'm going to go with. Because they use a lot of earth in this design. Like, twice as much, exactly. So you have... Three of each of these and four of this. This, I don't expect this puzzle to be super popular with like the, the, the puzzle solving community just because this chain is cruel and enormous. Maybe it's not all that cruel, I don't know. Um... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, wait. No, I have to move it. Like, you have to move the whole thing. Four squares. Okay. Well, wait. If... Okay. So if it ends like this, then ping, ping, ping. So if there's a fire here... Hmm... Well, sticking a fire... Okay, so if I have a fire here from the end of the last chain... Well, no. Let's... Let's put a fire here. No, actually, I think I want to put a fire here so that I can just make one of these add a fire to it and move over. using one of these arms to make the fire. The fire atom would go here if I were linking it onto the chain. So let's put the output here. Or maybe I'll just move it one space farther if I'm linking it onto the chain. And we'll build it over here. So, grab a fire, spin it to the left, and then... just made everything one square shorter. So build it here. Drop it off here if we're dropping off fire and rotate the one more if we are building the okay
Okay. So if I were Okay. Okay. So this makes one element for the polymer and one compound. Okay. One fire to Earth was an unsuccessful Earth, Wind, and Fire cover band. I like the way you think. Um, wait. I think I want to lengthen all of this out. I think I want to lengthen all of this out. So that I can rotate. Shoot. Okay. Okay. Right, I need to put this back. Swing it in here. Okay. So my idea here is that I add the cups up top. Three over here is going to deliver the fire that needs to be connected here. Actually, three can probably do all the moving over as well. Wait. No, it has to... Three is going to push the fire into position here, 
and slide the whole thing over, it needs to move four squares. All right, so three is going to be the output at the end of all of this. So by this point, there needs to be a cup of earth in here. I'm going to rotate it the other way because okay. Okay, that is this Earth, and then it rotates three spaces, and the second Earth, the second cup of Earth comes in. Okay, so I need to make an arch of three Earths, and deposit it in here with perfect timing. Okay, actually, I'm going to give myself an extra space there, and so this swings to here, and then to here, swings to here, at the same time as that swung over, swings in at this cycle, and it drops just in time to rotate. So, let me go ahead and confirm that I can't put it any closer than, the, oh, okay, so I can have this here. I'm only going to use one of the Earths, or I might want to, but let's, all right, I'm going to build the Earths here. No, I'll just use one. Okay. Right. So three is going to grab this, swing two, and drop it here. So it needs to be, needs to finish at this cycle.
Damn it. Okay, I think I want to make this more quickly than I have. No, this should be a triangle. make this a fan and we'll make two of them we'll make two of, we'll make two earths two of the earth arcs simultaneously and each of them will and drop both of them off Simultaneously. Okay. Okay. So we will use both of our Earths so that we can make both of these very quickly. Both of these in time for this system to take it off. This is going to be it's going to be an interesting solution and I think I'm probably okay with that. Um right. The arch needs to be like this and I can do it the fun way over here, but I gonna have to be gonna have to do shenanigans up here because this one is going to be swinging through there. So, phi Right, I was going to move 5 up to 4, because 5 is this final arm up at the top that's going to be doing its own shenanigans at the end. Um, so, 4, grab, rotate, drop, 1, 2, 3. Not fast enough. So I'm going to have to do it faster. Okay, so four, five, six, grab, rotate.
Okay, let's clear out a bunch of this stuff because it doesn't work like that. It doesn't have the rotational symmetry that I was thinking of when I designed this part. So, This one, this atom, from this atom, right, we need one that goes out like this. So this is going to be eventually like this. Eventually this is going to be shaped like this, which means that our eventual shape needs to have one cup off the top here and one cup off this guy here. So, um, let's try adding the cup off the top first. Cup off the top is here, which corresponds to here. Okay. Okay, so we paste one cup in here and paste the other cup in here. All right, so let's say arm four delivers this cup.
one arm. Okay, so this. So here's. Okay, so this cup is going to be like ting, ting, ting. So ultimately, it needs to be. Shaped like this. And this cup is ting ting ting, so ting zing zing needs to be shaped like that. No, it makes sense to leave arm three up at three because it really what it needs to synchronize with is one. Okay. All right. So five grab right, right. Six grab left turn. Seven grab push return. I'm going to be myself, and in place of these, and in place of these pistons, I'm going to use arms like this because it saves 15 coin. Um, Then the drop on eight here. No, strike that, reverse it. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. So I have made 
the entire system for the polymer part of the system. And I want three to finish extending. It's going to extend one, two, after having rotated left, one, two, after grabbing this. So I want it to finish extending right when this swings into place. And then one, two, three, four, return. So let's see if this works. Oh, damn it. Okay. All right, so this is going to slide one more. And these are going to be one space over so it doesn't catch. One of two, one of 12. Oh, the hell happened over here? Four has a gap instead of a return. All right. This whole structure is absolutely huge, but so, but, yeah, the whole thing is huge, so it's always going to be huge. Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to call that for the stream. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. And, uh, yeah. Hi, YouTube. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you want. I mean, I will be very confused if you do, but I'll be glad Uh I'm going to call it here before I embarrass myself. Bye.